it, it's kind of two effects. One is obviously worsening the access to abortion, worsening to access the, to basic all reproductive rights. But the, also the other effect is self-mobilization, and it's this huge wave of grassroots initiatives and this huge initiative that provides women with abortions. So the ones that would provide abortion services before the protests, the number of, of the services that would provide in a month, now they provide in a day. So we kind of saw this process of civic society organizing to, to just build the system out of the system to provide women with abortions. I wouldn't say nothing has changed because it's the money issue, it's the organizational issue, it's the whole being unlawful issue. Um, but it's the great job that the grassroots initiatives did that provide now women with, with abortions, yes. We're actually collecting signatures to legalize abortion. Uh, again, it's the third time. I'm the plenipotentiary for Soviet Bill Committee. Uh, because we look at the Argentinian example, nine attempts, 15 years, we have to go all the way. And collecting signatures is the second element of people changing their minds about abortion. When we started in 2016, it was just 37% of people in Poland who would be for legal abortion. Now it's 69. And one part of it is the protests. And the second part of it is collecting signatures, talking to people on the street and so on. Uh, we are also collecting money. We are working with Abortion Without Borders, so the biggest initiative that provides abortion. We are working with European parliamentarians, and it's quite effective. European Parliament declared abortion a human right. Uh, and just recently, when there was a resolution on the rule of law in Poland, there was actually the so-called ruling, because it's not a ruling, because it's not a constitutional court anymore, it was mentioned as an example of what happens if you don't have rule of law, if you don't have judicial independence. So we have this mainstream democracy issues and rule of law issues, and abortion is finally there. Because it was very hard to force politicians and Democrats, uh, who would call themselves Democrats, to actually say the word abortion. Uh, we actually have seen that happening. Uh, we had this this thing happening, I think, two years ago, when we kind of went all the way trying to save the Supreme Court of Poland. And we were feeling that that's that. We cannot do anything more. Uh, we've protested and it all happened. And then the ruling of the European Court of Justice came and stopped that. And I remember these protests and, and we were calling Europe, don't leave us. And it actually worked. And it was so much hope then, because we thought we are at the end of the way. We cannot do anything more. And then it happened. And I've seen that happening many times. We're, I'm so angry that it goes so slow. I'm so angry that it's so late. I'm so angry that it's so little. But still, it's the thing that, it's not about us being Polish and, and being in Poland and the country as it is. I'm European and every politician in Europe's duty is to me, not to some government of Poland. I'm European citizen and they should stand for me, they should fight for my rights. And I see that happening too little, too late, but still it's good that we see that happening, that we're not alone, we don't walk alone.